So we got an email from Apple a few days ago informing us that they've launched their 2025 M3 iPad Air. And we decided to say, okay, let us compare because if we can remember, they launched 2024 M2 iPad Air by May 2024. So we said, okay, let us compare to see what is the difference and why the rush, why did they decide to do it, you know, just like the way they used to do it with iPhones. So I got some shocking discovery. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please try and subscribe, okay? Like and comment the country you are watching from. First thing we are going to talk about, just like as I said before, Apple released the M2 in May 2024. And now, according to the email they sent to us, they released this M3 in March. This is March 2025. Now, we said, let us compare their processor. Let's see what is the, is the difference. So we discovered that the processor are both the same. Both the M3 and the M2 chipset, they are all the same. Eight core CPU. And they also have um, 10 core GPU. So they are all the same. The only difference is that M3 is about 25 to 30% faster than the M2. In which if you're a regular iPad user, you won't even notice the difference now we say okay let us compare the build let's compare their body and both of them same build the same design okay like as you can see on your screen both of them their dimension is 247.6 by 170 by 178.5 then by 6.1 okay millimeter their weights the only difference in their weight is so is because the weight on m2 is 462 gram y on m3 is 461 so just different of one gram so they have the same color the same chassis but they have a new adjustment for the you know the new magic keyboard that is in um, m3 for the display both of them has the same display they have 2360 by 1460 13 inches display also have the same brightness, 600 nits, the same uh, Rectina LCD, and 60 hertz refresh rate. There's nothing different. And even their camera, both the M2 and the M3, both of them have 12 megapixel in the rear camera and even at the front camera. The only, if there's no difference, like what we see, you can only record 4K on both of them with uh, 60 frames per second. That is it. There's nothing different. We said, okay, let's check the battery department both the ba both battery if you're using it with um wi-fi is going to last for like 10 hours but if you're using like mobile data on it it's going to last for like nine hours the same thing they only call and their battery capacity is 8000 million hours of battery so i began to wonder why it decided to release this thing now without no major upgrade and for the performance that is where there's a little bit of difference that too we not notice the performance the m2 has a 2600 single core um and the multi-core you know and 9500 multi-core for solid you know multi-taxing and gaming but the m3 have um 3100 single core and 11500 multi-core and this is going to be a little bit better for a little bit of advanced you know softwares especially with the integration of a uh, Apple in intelligence. So both of them are going to run on iPad OS 18 and the Apple intelligence is still going to be there. So there's no difference. And when we look at the price, but the good thing with this is that it has reduced the price of that of M2 because initially M2 was going for around 599 for the 11 inches. Then they are also going for 799 for the 11 inches, but now they've dropped it by hundred dollars. So the other one is going for five hundred dollars why the 13 inches is going for six hundred dollars so there is hundred dollar reduction so but what happened now is now that uh, this new one that they produce being the 2025 m3 ipad um, air is going to be going you know the 11 inches will be going for 599 dollars why the 13 inches will also be going for uh what is it called for 799 dollars so you know basically there is a um, difference okay you won't notice it if you are somebody that is just playing with your ipad you are not doing any serious video editing for me i would recommend you stay 
with the one that you are using and if you are somebody that just wants to like start you know exploring ipads and everything just go for the m2 okay unless you just want to like you know you have that extra 200 dollars to add to what you have already then i will say okay so go for the 2025 ipad air so that is all we have for you in this video please don't forget to like subscribe and tell us where you are watching from and we i will even be happy that you tell me which one you think you can be going for between these two um, apple products see you in my next video peace out